All right, this is a video about how to program the XR2 remote. If you want to know what model number you have, you can flip it over on the back. It says XR2 right there on it. Um, basically, to program this thing, it's just like the XR11. First thing you want to do is hold in setup. When the light turns green, you're going to press the A button right there. And it's going to clear out all the previous codes in the remote. It's going to get them all out of the way so you can have a fresh start. And then you hold it and set up again. And the light changes. You hit 991. And then you go right here and you channel up. You can do this numerous times. Sometimes it can be up to 30 times. Some TVs turn off instantly after the second click. But as soon as you hear your TV go click and go off, you stop. It'll be off and then you'll hit set up again. And the light flashes twice green. That means your code is locked in. To the remote okay now you try you attempt to turn the tv back on you hit the power button if it comes back on that means you've done this correctly this remote should volume up volume down channel up channel down on the cable box and you can turn it off and on with that um do not hit the all power button that turns your box off we do not want to turn the box off leave it on at all times because it has to receive updates from comcast um pretty much that's it this program's the exact same way the xr11 programs only difference is this does not have the voice command feature on it. So that's pretty much it. It's very simple. Like I said, just hold in set up. The light will change. The light changes. You hit 991. And then you channel up until your TV goes off. You want to make sure. And you hit set up again. It locks the code in. You want to make sure that right when your TV goes off, you do not hit the channel up or a button again. Sometimes you'll be hitting it and be going through it and it'll go off and you'll accidentally hit it another time. If you do, it will not power the TV back on. You'll have to start back over. And every time you start over, you want to hold in the setup button here and you want to press the A button. And that's going to clear out the other code that's previously in there. You don't have to do that, but I recommend doing that. Thank you very much. Please like and subscribe to my videos and watch them as many times as you can. Thank you. Have a good day.